Alright guys, I thought I'd uh, do a little recap of Chiang Mai while it's still fresh and have some time in the sky. The pool is glorious. It's so nice here at uh, at this resort, uh, in Golden Temple. Um, the pool is just insane. It's like we're in like the heart of the city, but it's like a, a little temple oasis here. With, like, the pool is like all waterfalls. It's really, really nice. The service here is like absolutely impeccable. Um, like, had a happy hour from six to seven. It's absolutely great. Just the service is filling up drinks nonstop. The first time we've had that here. Everyone here speaks English, which is a good thing. And also a nice tip here for Cambodia is everyone here takes the dollar, so you don't really need to do the exchange uh, for the is it real I think is what they call it. Um, so make sure to keep U.S. dollars. It's way easier, and they like it more uh, here. And also we got a bunch of like free massages, uh, free dinner here, free lunch. They're also going to pack our breakfast for when we leave at 5 a.m. tomorrow as well for the temple, which is super awesome. So, uh, Chiang Mai tips is, um, uh, one is tuk-tuks. You need to negotiate price. They'll say like 150, 200 baht. You usually can get them down to 80 to 100 if it's a close trip. So, you know, make sure to negotiate. Always go to the tuk-tuk and always ask. Tell them where you want to go, make sure they know it, and if they don't, show them a map, and always ask a price before you get in. Don't get in, uh, take, let them take you there, and uh, then get a price, because they'll just drive you around. So make sure you get a price first. Once they have a price set and know where you're going, they're not going to drive you around. They want to get you out and done as quick as possible. So that's that's a nice tip. Um, let's see. Another tip is the night market. Sunday night market is huge. Uh, make sure you negotiate like crazy. Uh, they usually start off at over half of what they're willing to settle for. So you need to go below half of what they say and make sure to stick to your guns. And if they say anything, just start say, you know, I'm going to leave and go find Because they literally have the same thing like, like like other shops, like right down the street. So just you can negotiate a lot if you want to. Uh, other thing in Chiang Mai, um, definitely do the elephant nature part. Um, but, Probably the best experience I've had so far. Uh, I didn't know that like elephant trekking was so bad for elephants. How mistreated they were. Nature Park. Um, they're really friendly. The food there was actually the lunch was amazing, and it's really nice to be able to interact with the elephants. You get to pet them. You feed them. You actually start to get like spiritually connected with them. It's really great because you spend literally eight hours with them. It's really nice. And then bathing them was amazing. Going a nice cool river. You get to actually wash all the stuff off them and great. It's a really good experience. The people there are great. Uh, it's, I mean, I would highly recommend. It's a really good spiritual, like life changing experience. I want to go work there. Um, other tips in Chiang Mai: airport's really close. Airport's really small, so it doesn't really take you long to get there. If you have an international flight, even if you have a domestic first leg, gotta go to international. That's a tip. Um, Air Asia packs you in like sardines, but if you have like a any artwork like a small like this cylinder they'll let you take it on so just make sure you do that as well and don't waste money checking it um also let's see what other tips i'll edit out any difference i think what else would be good good to know that that um well everyone speaks a lot of people speak english in thailand so that's really easy to get around people are willing to help you uh a lot oh also um Drink wise, the hotels are gonna rip you off. If you go to a local spot, you'll get a beer for eighty baht, which is way better deal than you get in most places. A lot of the liquor places will uh, just rip you off. Liquor is really expensive there. Also, uh, bring your own toilet paper if you go to the night market. They don't have toilet paper there. They literally just have a spray hose for your butt, which is fine. But it's the toilets are all soaking wet, so you have to like you can't touch the toilet. You have to stuff like kind of squat over it. Even if it's an American toilet, which kind of makes it hard because it's kind of tall, and you, the just like water gets everywhere. So make sure you bring your own toilet paper with you if you go to the night market. You will eventually get some bubble guts on your trip in Thailand. No matter no matter how strong your stomach is, eventually you will either bad water and the, I think they mix water and the tequila at a lot of the clubs and whatever it will get you. Uh, club wise in uh, Chiang Mai. Uh, there's like the, what's it called, like Yellow Club or something like that. It's really cool. It's like two uh, nightclubs, like, e like kind of EDM, right next to each other. The DJs kind of suck, but it's full of uh, a lot of uh, white people and foreigners, so it's a lot of fun. Um, let's see.
Uh, those are the major tips I would say for uh, Chiang Mai. I would say, if anything, we've only spent three days. You need to spend a full week or week and a half in Chiang Mai for sure. And there's so much in that city, so cultural, so much history. It's really quaint. It's uh, like halfway between Phuket and Bangkok. Like it's just mixed, mixed together. It's like got a lot going on, but still got that old city feel and like vacation y kind of uh, vibe to it. It's really, really nice. I would definitely say spend. It's probably my favorite place so far. Although Cambodia is getting up there right now, it's really cool. Um, that would be the major advice that I have right now for. I'm sure I'll come with some stuff later for you guys. But trip wise, Chiang Mai is where that. Oh, yeah, I guess tattoo wise, I mean, definitely Chiang Mai, Sanyat, uh, Chiang Mai tattoo, great. The way they work with their monks, it's really safe, and I really love my tattoo. It looks amazing. I mean, can't say like how great the experience was. I mean, looks pretty dang good so I mean if y'all if you're interested in that kind of stuff like Buddhism and uh, the spirituality of it great experience I re highly recommend it I'll do a little post about it as well with my tattoo and I did a nice uh, little uh, hold on a second got a text did a nice time lapse of it so y'all get to see that but that's my main advice and also uh, whiskey here is expensive so buy some of the duty free shop if you like whiskey a lot if, especially like a uh, scotch so you can enjoy it with your friends um uh, that's pretty much it and i'm in the service here i literally left my room for an hour here and they've already cleaned my entire room so it's pretty dope same thing in Antoine, they cleaned my room every time i left it was great the service here has been pretty good thailand has great hospitality and everyone in Cambodia speaks English, which is great. So uh, I hope to get you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do the, all the temples and uh, let you guys know. All right, bye.